and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I'm so glad that you guys are joining me today. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I just really appreciate your guys' support. It, it honestly means a lot to me. Like I said, whether you're a new viewer, a returning viewer, I just, I truly appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. So um, I am also available on Instagram and on TikTok, link in the description. And today I am so excited because it is almost the end of 2022, which means that it is time for my official 2023 finalized planner lineup. Um, so you may have seen a few videos where I have talked about coming up in 2023. Um, I did a video where I kind of gave like a little sneak peek into this is my ideas. I have put up some setup videos for bullet journal daily. Um, my reading journal. Well, now it is time for the finalized list. I have a stack of planners here. Um, it, it may seem kind of crazy as I kind of go through it, but every piece of it has a rhyme or reason as to why I'm going to use it. Not all of them are going to be used every single day. And as I go over the planners that I'm going to use, I will explain how I'm going to use them and how often and why. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Let's start with my daily and my catch-all bujo. So for starters, my catch-all bujo is a Kuma Stationery A5 notebook. This is part of their Luna brand. Um, this has this really cute little um, crescent moon and then it has gold gilded edges. This is one that I have a setup video for, so definitely go check it out if you haven't. But this is going to be used as my catch-all bullet journal. So it's basically going to capture um, my home aspects of my life. And I may even include like for my week, like for my during the week, I may include like some things related to social media, but for the most part, this is kind of anything personal or home related for me. So this Bujo is ultimately replacing the dashboard planner um, that I've been using for 2022. I've used a happy planner since 2019. So 2019 through 2022. And I felt like I needed something to give me a little bit more creativity or, or give me the ability to be a little bit more creative. So that's one reason why I decided to go with a dot grid notebook. So in that way I could be able to set up bullet journal pages myself. Um, the whole yearly setup is very simple. Like it's, it's something that really any Bujo newbie can do. And I, I intentionally did that because I want to show you, my viewers, that anybody can bullet journal, anybody can set up a bullet journal. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be intricate. You just have to make sure that it fits you. So this is all set up. This is what I will be using on a daily basis to basically help me organize and plan my life. And to go along with that, I will be using the daily planner. This is from the Happy Planner. So this is the classic daily planner. Um, the discs come from the Stargazer, the Stargazer Be Happy box that released in, it was either December of 2021 or January of 2022. I honestly cannot remember. Um, the cover of one of them also came from there. And then the cover of this one came from an 18 month planner for that celestial theme. Um, and I also en ended up using the dividers from the 18 month planner as well. So that way I have a fully dated monthly and then the actual daily sheets are going to go into being undated, which I don't mind dating up. So this daily planner basically encompasses um, every aspect of my home life. So I include 
the nitty gritty tasks like do I need to remember to start the dishwasher do I remember do I need to remember to make ice do I need to do I need to run errands do I need to pay bills that is all included on this as well as social media and I also like to include hot reminders about hobbies you may think it's kind of crazy but I assure you there are days that I will forget that I need to knit on my sock or I you know if my if I have a knit hat that just needs to be closed up at the top and if I'm not knitting every single day I will forget that it needs to be done so I like to use this also for like little self-care and hobby reminders because it's just a way for me to look at it and say oh I'm I need to make sure that I take time to knit today because knitting brings me joy. But then it also goes with videos. What videos do I need to record that day? What videos are being posted on YouTube? What do I want to post on, on Instagram? My day is busy. Um, I know like anybody who uses a planner, we have very busy lives. And sometimes setting yourself those little reminders can be incredibly helpful. So daily planner is the classic happy planner. And then my catch-all bujo which i'll probably just refer to as like my bullet journal from here on out is kuma stationery a5 then we go into my social media slash content planner which i kept calling it like a social media planner a content creator planner and then I heard somebody refer to theirs as just a content planner, and that's what I really want to just stick with. So from here on out, content planner. Um, so this is an A5. It is from Archer and Olive, and it's part of the Amy Tangerine collab that came out, I want to say maybe like third quarter of 2022. Um, I have basically set it up to kind of help me with being able to plan out my content for, for the year, help me set goals, help me allow spaces for like brain dumps and list out like my income and affiliates and collabs that I do. And this is, I think it's just really helped me because, um, this way I have a whole setup to allow me to plan out my goals and essentially plan the steps to meet those goals. In 2022, I used a monthly layout and then I switched to a horizontal layout. So this is replacing that, but I'm really excited about using this and I absolutely love this notebook. And then we come to my wellness. So for starting out, I have my wellness traveler's notebook journal. This comes from Audrey Okia. Okia? Okay. Oh my gosh, I can never pronounce it. I'm so sorry. Um, but this is a beautiful notebook that she designed. It is white dot grid pages. And I have it set up to allow me to set some wellness goals. And essentially, this is going to help me stay on task with making sure that I am taking care of my mind, my body, and my soul um, to make sure that I am meeting a goal for that overall health. So again, a traveler's notebook. Um, I'm not referring to this as like my wellness bujo because to me it's not a bujo. It's basically going to be a way for me to write down what you, which tarot cards that I'm pulling each day, whether it's morning or nighttime, and be able to write down reflections on those cards because I love using tarot cards in order to be able to reflect on my day, reflect on something that happened that day, or if I pull a tarot card in the morning, it's a really good way to be able to read that message. And then as I go throughout my day, Think about the message and understand how to interpret based on, on what is going on. So any journaling done in this will be prompted by the tarot cards. Um, and if you want to know more about tarot cards and you want like more information about how I use them, drop me a comment and maybe I'll put together a video to really go in depth with, with how I use them. But this is like I said, this is going to be, um, any journaling is going to be prompted by the tarot cards. 
but the beginning of it and the monthly will allow me a bit of tracking um, as I'm meeting my wellness goals for the year. And to go along with that, I also have the, it's the Hello Happy, um, it is the journal, guided <laughs> journal from Happy Planner. It's classic size. Um, this cover came from the journal in the self-care box, and this is the Hello Happy cover. They both have the same discs, so it's the gold glitter discs. I love it. Um, what was really funny is that I actually had two of the Hello Happy, and when I got this one, I actually completely forgot that I had them. So I realized I have enough for a whole year, so I decided to set it up for a whole year. This guided journal is intentionally meant to be used um, every day, every week, every month. Um, I mean, you can obviously mix and match with other guided journals, but that's kind of the way that it's, it's, it's set up. It's four months worth in each journal. So three of them gives you 12 months, but it basically allows you to um, set goals, set habits, use power words to help you go through the month and really journal about your day in a way to help you meet goals. So I don't know if I'm going to be using this every single day. I would love to use this every single day. I would love to be able to take time, take five, 10 minutes each day to journal. We will see. That is a habit that I'm definitely going to have to make. So habit is going to be daily journaling in my guided journal. But I'm really excited about this because it, it has prompts. I don't do journaling well unless I have something that prompts it. Like I, I, I don't have a structured. For my wellness journal, the prompt is going to be coming from the tarot cards and the messages, whereas the guided journal has prompts in the journal to help you reflect on things about your day. So I have 12 months of this. Like I said, I really hope to use this daily. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I will try. To go along with the journal guided journal, I also have the goals guided journal from Happy Planner. This is a new one that just released with the winter. And I decided that I really wanted to try this out. Again, five to 10 minutes a day for journaling is not a lot of time that is being spent that makes it unreasonable to use this daily. So I'm, this is going to be part of the habits that I build, but this way I can be able to focus on my goals each month. I can be able to write down a goal related to my personal life. Maybe I want to do, set one related to work. Maybe I want to set one related to my content planning, but I can be able to use this guided journal to help me set my goals figure out what action steps do I need to take. And then each day, each week, I can be able to reflect on what steps that I'm taking towards meeting my goals. And that will also kind of help me figure out what I need to do the next day or over the following week in order to meet my goals. So this is intended to be used on a daily basis. That is my ultimate goal but we will see but i am excited to really try and see if this helps me um, even stay motivated to work towards my goals so goals guided journal from the happy planner let's talk about these three notebooks next so um, number one, I am a huge stationary lover. I love notebooks. I love journals. I've always loved them. So I decided I wanted to take a different approach to budgeting um, compared to using a planner. I don't like the classic size budget, budget planner. I felt like it was way too much space for me. Um, I definitely preferred the mini, but I also don't like that the happy planner budget planner it's set up more for tracking and i don't like it's like i it's it, to me it's really weird like i my, my brain couldn't figure out how to use it what i decided that i needed is i need a notebook that is full of budget trackers i need a notebook that allows me to track my bills each month 
I need a notebook that allows me to be able to set up some savings pages. Um, maybe set up a page with like quarterly subscriptions or things that maybe renew on an annual basis, on a quarterly basis, that sort of thing. And then just pages for me to write down all of my spending and track it that way as opposed to it being separated out by week. So I just decided to use an Archer and Olive B6 notebook. Um, this is really, I love like the size of the notebook. And this is just going to be fantastic to throw into my purse. I can put a pen in the pen loop. And then that way when I'm out, after I go shopping, I can be in my car, write down what I spend, and I'm, I'm good to go. And then when I'm also putting any type of bills in my bullet journal, I have my bills set up on the monthly and I'm not having to go back and try to figure out, oh crap, what's due this day? What's due this day? Because I will have it already tracked. Then we come to my goal getter. It's, this is an A5 black soft bound notebook. I love the soft bound. Oh my gosh. I didn't think I would love it as much as I do, but I am freaking obsessed with it. Um, this I decided is just going to basically be a notebook to allow me to put down a brain dump list. So for instance, this is December. This is basically everything that I want to get done um, over the net over like the last few days of December, but then also write down um, things that are going on that I have to keep in mind and then urgent as well. So I still have room because I've still got some stuff to write down for this, but this just gives me a place to have, like I can throw this notebook in my purse, write down notes as I'm going through. And this is just going to be like a messy, this is just going to be a very messy notebook in the end, but it's going to be a perfect place to write notes. And then we have this beautiful notebook. This is a B5 notebook from Archer and Olive. I wish you guys could feel this. This is actually velvet and it is, oh, it is stunning. I need to take like a lint roller to it. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, this is basically what I'm referring to as a creative journal, but it's gonna be full of monthly calendars decorated with stickers. So I got the idea because I set up an advent calendar, um, an advent monthly calendar for Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop for her, her 24 day, 25 day advent calendar. So I basically put in the stickers every single day and I love how it turned out. So I decided I want to do more monthly calendars full of stickers. Um, I'm currently working on getting some more calendars set up, but basically I'm going to do a January through December where I put in stickers that I used for each daily page. I can do a calendar of my mood and I can use like emoji stickers, but this is just a really fun way to be creative. Um, this is not something that will be used every single day, um, well, with the exception of like putting in a sticker, but this is just something for me to be creative because I need notebooks that just allow me creative freedom. So B5 Archer and Olive Velvet Notebook. This came in the September sub box. And oh my gosh, it is, it is divine. It is beautiful and I love it. I love like, I just love stroking the cover. Okay, that, I didn't mean for that to sound dirty. <laughs> Now we come to my reading journals. So first one we have is my Happy Planner reading journal. Um, these are classic sized metal discs. These came in the Explorer bundle that was released during Cyber Week. And this is the cover from the bookish planner that was released in 2020. I believe it was like a 2020 to 2021. So July 2020 through December 2021. I love the cover of it so much. And I decided this will be perfect for my reading journal. I have it set up with challenges and tracking pages that I set up on filler paper. And then I just have the monthly calendar from the Zodiac Planner that released for um, in the fall. 
set for 2023 so I can be able to track per month. And then I'll just be using this page to kind of put down like this was this is my goal for the month. And then these are the books that I read, that sort of thing. So I'm really excited about this. And then we have my reading Bujo, which is basically a more creative, um, a more creative freedom reading journal. Um, I was using it at the end of this year, like each month. Um, I, I haven't even set up December yet, which I need to. Um, but I decided that this is just basically going to be a notebook that is going to be used to just create pages as I decide that I want pages created. So I do have the intention to kind of put together like a 2023 page just because I thought it'd be fun. And then a rating system. Um, but really, this is just going to be used when I have an idea for a page and I just want to have some fun with it. So definitely not every day. Um, it's not going to be used the same way as my Happy Planner reading journal. This one is just pure creativity with like a little bit of tracking and functionality thrown in. And finally, oh my goodness, you guys, we come to my work planners. So let's start out with the, um, this is an A5 pre-made bullet journal from the company Your Bujo. They are a German company and it is January to December. It is so pretty, freaking pretty, but I love how it's already set up. Um, I started using it in November, I've been using it in December, and I decided that I really like to use this in order to kind of pre-plan. So let's say it's a Monday, I know for a fact that I need to do a follow-up with an employee on a Thursday, I can be able to write that in. I'm not using it for like my detail to-dos because I don't necessarily have room for all of my detail to-dos. Um, but this is just really good because I want to be able to have a general overview of what I, what is kind of priority that week. So that's where, that, that's how this will be used. But then I have the new disc bound planner from Go Getter Girl. Um, I'm actually still pending the interchangeable cover. It wasn't in my package and I need to actually reach out to them and let them know that it wasn't in there. But um, Go Get a Girl released a planner in 2020. She released a daily and a weekly planner. Um, this one is just daily, but I really like the setup. And this year for 2023, she actually released it on discs. These discs are slightly bigger than the Happy Planner discs. Um, and I really like the feel of it. It doesn't, ha doesn't obviously have a cutout, but I feel like it is a good solid disc and these are plastic discs. What I really like though is the layout of the daily. So how I'm going to be using this because there is a lot on the daily. We have a today is, so focus, what I'm proud of, and tomorrow's goal. I have a section to write what I'm grateful for. This section can be used for notes, motivational quote, decorations, anything. You have a work to do, a personal to do, um, focusing on me, my intentions. Did I work toward or did I work toward meeting my habits? Yes or no. And then the schedule. My intention for this is going to use it for the schedule, for meetings, time blocking. Um, obviously the work to do, and I'll most likely be turning in the personal to do into the work to do. I don't like keeping my work planner and my personal planner together. My work planner has a lot of very sensitive information. So this will honestly never be shown on, um, it will never be shown on like Instagram or YouTube once I start using it because there's just a lot of sensitive information in there. And then I've got this section right here that I can be able to use for notes. I can be able to put myself a quote, like a, I know work sucks, but don't quit kind of quote. So daily will be kind of for time blocking meetings. And then all of the little tasks that I need to do while the bullet journal is going to be used for a good general overview 
and then a pre-planning sort of thing for future reminders and future things to do. Oh my goodness, that was a lot. So let's go through it one more time. Go get a girl a daily planner. This is like similar to the classic size happy planner for a work daily. A an A5 pre-made bullet journal from your Bujo for my work Bujo. Archer and Olive 8x8 eight eight notebook for my creative reading Bujo. Classic happy planner that was half of the month and then half filler paper that is for my reading journal. Archer and Olive B6 notebook for a budget tracking notebook. Go get a girl A5, just a random brain dump notebook. Archer and Olive B5 Velvet for my creative monthly calendar notebook, just for fun. Happy Planner B Goals Guided Journal. And this is just a guided journal to help me journal about how I'm working towards meeting my goals. The journaling guided journal. So this will be used for wellness journaling. So before I go into this one, I just want to kind of remind you the guided journals are meant to be used every single day and that's going to be with like the best of intention. Um, these ones will not be used every single day. These are going to be used as an as needed basis. And then my work, obviously, Monday through Friday when I'm working. But these ones are going to be used on a daily basis. So we have my wellness journal where I'm going to be reflecting um, as I pull a tarot card. Traveler's notebook. The Archer and Olive A5 for my content planner. Kuma Stationery A5 for my Bujo. And then Happy Planner Classic Daily Planner. And yes, I guess that's it. That it's a lot. You guys probably think that I'm just like absolutely crazy. I may be crazy, but um, I do want to do like a check-in each month to kind of share with you how I am doing on using these. I will be 100% honest with you. The ones that I'm worried about the most is going to be the guided journals and the budget notebook. Those are the ones that I'm worried I won't be able to build the habits, but having habits built to use those on a daily basis, I think that's gonna help me meet other goals that I want to achieve. So hopefully this stack brings me a lot of joy throughout 2023. I will keep you updated with how I'm using them and how, how they're working for me. And hopefully we won't have any random planner changes because something's not working. Um, I really want to preach. Or I really want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy my planner lineup. I hope you guys are excited about 2023 content. If you have any questions or if you want to share what is part of your planner lineup, drop me a comment below. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. And yes, 2023 is almost here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.